Hello guys and welcome to my channel, this is Bibarol and today we have a new video, build video actually, about Renegade. I roamed a while with Renegade for the first time and uh, the video got a lot of likes, I mean, people enjoyed it. And because there's one comment asked me about the build, I thought I should actually do a video about it. So this is a quick video, like just improvised. Okay, uh, there's actually many variants to this build, but I settled on the one I think is actually the best. And this is the one I'm going to be sharing now. I use uh, Dwarf Legend and uh, Kala, the Renegade Legend. And my weapon set is uh, Mace, Axe and short bow. Now for the build itself. I go with Corruption. 3, 3, 3. It helps you, of course, with... Uh, the poison you inflict when you inflict torment and uh, give you bigger duration, I mean longer duration. And this one is amazing, the bone removed, the confusion, is just too much pressure to go with anything else. I mean we don't reuse uh, the demon stance, so resistance is not have no point here. And we already lack on condition removal, so we don't need this. Uh, I mean this one's chill, inflict torment, but... The only way we can do chill is basically one skill. This one is much better. And it's consistent. Every 25 seconds, technically. Everyone have boons now, like be boon beast and stuff. And this one is one of the few way we can remove condition. Each time we use an elite, like this skill, we go with three condition. Unblockable, no blind effect, it will hit, unless it's evaded. And we go with retribution. One, one, three. This one's for heals. I sometimes use this. Make me more tanky and suffer more condition. This one's better against maybe power damage. Uh, I mean, this one is already tanky, so you can use whatever you like. I used both, actually. Uh, in my video, I think I was using this only, not this one. But this one is great, like, when you have this. The healing potential in melee, like fighting warrior, rebar, is, is amazing. Last we have Renegade, who goes 2, 2, 3. This is our main source of defense against condition. It's a stack up to 35 less damage. Because we don't have, we don't remove condition except with our elite and with the healing skill in uh, Legendary Dwarf. So we really need to be careful and mitigate too much damage or heal through it. So this one makes the damage less for us. Uh, this of course uh, make a short bow pierces and a longer bleed duration, so it's great. And this, of course, also to give you more uh, bleed uh, duration. See, it's damage increased on uh, on bleed. Sorry, it's damage here and it's duration here, so you have nice bleed this way. So every damage you have become really high. The mace, uh, the melee style with using mace and axe is your favorite here. It have incredibly high damage, and it's not really melee. It's easy to play. This one is like 900 ball with confusion torment. This bolt you to your target, and this travel to 1,200. And this one's also red. It's like only auto attack is really melee. Nothing more. Kala is amazing for CC. And for healing potential too, and this one's also help you defend uh, against condition with 50% uh, less damage. So you can survive out of condition. The good side of this build is 1v1, especially if the class you fight is not really capable of movement. And you're already aggressive, really aggressive on this build. Your damage is high, that even if the class is moving, is moving too much, you can still catch them. Especially you have taunt from... Uh, 1200 range and this is really good and you can fight from far and also Scala when you heal I mean even with the wolf but when you heal like this you have a, a projectile reflect mitigation projectile destruction so the survival potential is really high you can grant yourself might you can grant yourself alacrity or Scala's power this grant you might up to 10 stacks so it's really good the bad part of this build is when you there is too many people trying to chase you or something you can't skip 
this is a bad side of it people usually use like uh, demon for example not using Kala and just try to run like this or they go instead of dwarf also assassin and they just keep kiting and use super speed but I don't like this I like the aggressiveness and tankiness that dwarf gave me and uh, Kala with um, the AOE potential, the constant days, the heal, and we need this to fight against condition, except if we are going demon. I tried demon version with Kala, not with dwarf, uh, and it was good actually, it was really good, especially maybe against holos misses, because their condition doesn't work, you tank even against their damage, and you change the build of course to this, so you have higher health ball, and once you have resistance, you take uh, 10% you take care uh, damage reduction to 20% so yeah but uh, and also got resistance from this this is a variant you do with the build uh, if you have demon it's like this you see now I have resistance for two seconds now you have serious means to fight against condition so uh, you can play with it as much as you want, like uh, having Dwarf here instead of um, Kala, but I liked uh, this one better. It felt much better and especially in 1v1s. You have really high damage, incredibly healing potential and tankiness, it's, uh, it's amazing. But like I said, uh, in groups if you have support, uh, like you room with a team, it's gonna be amazing, but if you get chased by two guys or more, you can win. Still, it's been on you, but you can't kite. You have to fight on your own terms. You have to have LOS, uh, Land of Sight. You get people to fight you in your own terms, not on their own terms. Uh, this wasn't my main, so... I don't know. Uh, I'm not really playing it much. I just tried it and it was fun. Uh, now goes um, the gear. I use entire trailblazer set, exotic, and uh, the weapon is Dyer's, with uh, Agony and Malice in short bow, and uh, Malice and Corruption, you can remove Corruption, but the higher condition damage, I find it amazing, you can use, well, I don't know here, I mean Malice is the only thing because you have too many condition choices. You can go with bursting or something, but I find using corruption and stacking it up to 25, and then using short bow with higher damage is a great tactic. And I use trailblazer, trailblazer, trailblazer. Yeah, that's for fractal gear actually, but that's what I use on it. And uh, dire trailblazer, trailblazer. I hope you like this video, and I hope it helped. Thank you very much for watching.